I'm probably dating myself, but I'm a huge fan of the Bee Gees musical group, have been since the early 1970s. I just figured that they'd always be there. So it was really tough for me to watch Robin Gibbs and his fight with cancer and ultimately dying prematurely. The tragedy is that colorectal cancer is so detectable and treatable in one simple procedure, the colonoscopy, it's one of those dreaded seed diseases that's uh, completely curable if you get it on time. I'm well past the age where they recommend your first initial colonoscopy, and yes, what you've heard, doctors are the worst patients. But I have a great wife, and she made uh, an appointment for me behind my back, no pun intended, and uh, yes, the preparation is the worst part. But get this, they did find some polyps, and they removed them and said for me to come back in five years. Now, the American Institute for Cancer Research brought a panel of experts together, and they published the most detailed, comprehensive, and authoritative study on colorectal cancer that they've had to date. Colorectal cancer is one of the most preventable of all of the malignancies with just simple lifestyle changes. One half of the cases annually could be prevented by just consuming more plant-based foods, by exercising more, and by remaining uh, more lean. In the U.S. alone, they could save 64,000 lives per year. Let me share a list of their findings and recommendations uh, from the Institute's report. Number one, they recommended that you have regular physical activity, and that includes maintaining a healthy weight and decreasing the amount of belly fat. They recommended to avoid red meat and especially processed meats. Let me give you an example. Seven ounces a day of red meat increases the chances of colorectal cancer by 34%. And seven ounces a day of processed meats, and by that I mean hot dogs and bacon, sausage and ham, increases colorectal cancer possibilities by 72%. They recommended that you get more fiber, which is fruits and vegetables, uh, nuts and, and seeds. They, have, they recommended to avoid alcohol and the bad whites, which of course are white flour, white sugar, white bread, white uh, pasta. They recommended to increase the amount of bioavailable calcium in your diet. They're not sure exactly how dairy figures into that, but they have found that almond and coconut milk actually have 50% more calcium than dairy products anyway. And then their final thing was to rely more on whole foods than on supplements. So how are you doing with their recommendations? Any of your favorite sins that are sabotaging your health? The mes message I take away from this is it's Sun Warrior now more than ever.